let's see. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> um, uh, I hope this is working correctly. Uh, yeah, I should probably check it and make sure. Let's see. How about that? All right. I'm kind of an amateur at this, so uh, bear with me. So, um, who am I? I am Maurice Carlos Ruffin. I am a uh, novelist, essayist, and short story writer. And uh, I'm here because we have uh, this wonderful book that has been published. It is called Runaway, an anthology. And it is edited by uh, Luann Smith, Michael Gills, and uh, Lee Zacharias. And uh, there are many, many wonderful authors inside of the book, and I myself am uh, privileged to be one of the authors inside of this book. I have a short story that I wrote called The Anchor Song. See it right there? It's by me, Maurice Carlos Ruffin. And it's a short one, um, but it's, uh, it's one of my personal favorites that I've ever written, actually. And so uh, I'm going to read this uh, story for you. It's called The Anchor Song. Santa Claus got a hole where his eye go. Jerron suck his teeth, like that's just girl's luck. But I quiet myself, the same as if I was at the bottom of a pool, counting how long I've been under. I shoot Santa again, in the belt buckle this time. I never touched a gun before this morning. Jerron neither. When Jerron shot, he only popped Santa's shoulder. But I didn't kill Santa twice dead. Guess I'm a natural, me. One more time I say. The Santa cutout flap against the fence behind this empty garage. John give me a look. We don't know how many bullets left in the pea shooter because we don't know how to open it. Well, Jerron probably know, but he don't like fooling with it if he don't have to. Back home, everybody got about a dozen guns and a million bullets to shoot. And all we got is this one pea shooter, even though it feel like the whole world coming for us. Go ahead then, girl, Jerron said. I aim. Jerron's hand almost swallows the pea shooter when he holds it, but it's the right size for me. A fist I can throw across a room. I need to hit Santa in the mouth this time. No more ho, ho, ho. The pea shooter ain't loud, and it go bap, like a screen door smacking shut. I miss. We in a field, the middle of fiddle and boots country. I ain't never in my life been this far from New Orleans, and all these hick white folks scare the shit out of me. But not as much as daddy scare me. Down the road, the way we come from, there ain't no cars. Just stretch of silence. I stuff the pea shooter in my coat. Jerron getting the pickup with baby cake. Who coughing? The gun ain't ours. And the pickup almost out of gas. The pickup ain't ours either. It belongs to daddy. Just the same as the gun. But baby cake? Baby cake ours. Belongs to me and Jared. Baby cake our little nugget, crying like how I feel inside. I know she don't need no diaper. Jerron just changed her diaper. Jerron pressed his nose on her face and snort like a pig. And baby cake laugh. Maybe she nervous. Lord knows me too, baby cake. Jerron touches fingers soft on my cheek where daddy bruised me this morning. It didn't have to go down how it did. Daddy wasn't supposed to be awake before a sun up. Daddy wasn't supposed to find us in my room packing in the dark. He come in shouting. Knocked Mama's picture off the dresser, shattering glass. Knocked me down too and hit my face on the garbage can. But I ain't break. Now, Jerron a big old boy. But Daddy a big old man. And Daddy hate him some Jerron on account of me getting pregnant by him. Daddy said before, if he catch Jerron's punk ass around again, he'd kill him. And Jerron was around again. Daddy went for Jerron, and they scrummed like pit bulldogs. Jerron pointed that pea shooter at Daddy. 
You gonna shoot me with this little hoe, son? Daddy ass. Yanking on my dress collar. Jerome was about to shoot nobody. He's scared of things. One time a bottle cap sized spider crawled on my Disney princess bedspread while he was eating the shrimp po' boy and Jerome saw it and he fell on the floor. Now I grabbed that spider in my hand and let him out the window. And then I helped Jerome up from the floor, heavy as he is, but he didn't want to eat no more po' boy that night, even though he had been known to swallow down two big po' boys without hardly barely breathing. He was shamed. And that's why Jerome need me, to keep him from staying down. I got him to eat his fill that night. I bet I did. In my room this morning, when Jerome pointed that gun, Daddy pulled a blade and went at Jerome. And I heard that scream door bap. And Daddy fell down holding his hand. Said, I better not come back. Said, Jerome dead when he catch him. I'm driving. I ain't old enough to drive. Jerome is, but... I drive steadier than him, and then policemen, less likely to pull us over with me behind the wheel, we figured. We saw our brother face down on the side of the highway a ways back. Five policemen in his cars for just one dude. Baby cake and Jerron lap, cuckooing the way she do. She okay, but my breath come out in cloud puffs. Can't turn the heater on, though, because the area blows stink worse than, a, than dog dookie. We wasn't just leaving to leave. Baby Cake been sick, and she only been here a few months in this world. But the clinic doctor said she got bad blood that's going to take her from us. I reach over and tickle her stomach. She wiggle her arms. She ain't supposed to leave yet. That's why Baby Cake need me, to make sure she don't float back to heaven. We don't have no money for the special doctor, Jerron's auntie in Houston, no. But what kind of special doctor going to say no to Baby Cake? He'll help. Daddy said, I'm, 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 I'm stupid for believing so, but that doctor will help. I always try to feed Baby Kate good food, mashed up peaches and pears, but she hardly never eat. And I wonder if Daddy back home is still fuming, or did he go to the hospital and die? Before I met Jerron, I ran away a couple of times, but Daddy always found me. Jerron and Baby Kate and me, forever. I ain't going home. Not never no more. There's nothing in the review but a yellow strip that run all the way back home and drawn under the clip from the pea shooter, a bullet fall out. Don't shoot yourself, boy, I say. I got this, he say. He shove it back in and close the pea shooter. I ask how many bullets left. He say two bullets. We ride downhill. I pull into a gas station. A canal run alongside us, with steam creeping off the dirty water. Jerron said he loved me, and I say the same back. He take baby cake to the bathroom for changing, and leave the pea shooter on his seat. Jerron, a wizard with a diaper, change. He changed one as easy as I could blank. I'm no good. I usually get mess all over everything. Outside the station, a hoopty pull up and almost hit the pickup. I'm inside. Jerron come out the station carrying baby cake in the crook of his arm. And daddy hop out of that hoopty. Two men in work overalls with him. They yell at Jerron. Jerron yell back. Baby cake cry. People in the station watch us from behind the glass like we fish in an aquarium. And I climb down from the pickup and point the pea shooter at daddy. You got some nerve threatening me, he say. I'm going to beat you with that gun when I get you, ho. Don't call me that, I say. Daddy. And I tell Jerron go. And he look at me like, no way you for real. And Daddy start toward me. And I can't let him keep Baby Cake from help. And I can't let him kill Jerron neither. My hands shake. I shoot for the hoopty tire. I don't miss. And Daddy stops shy. The two men in overalls jump behind that car. I shoot daddy in the mouth so he can never call me ho again. But that's just me hoping. I can't shoot daddy. He's still my daddy. And his face crumpled like he fixing to cry. Something I had never seen in my life. But I can't leave. Daddy follow wherever I go. I tell Jerome to take off. And he look at me like, baby, you know I ain't leaving you. And I give Jerome the face I always do. When I mean something serious. I look like I'm slapping him with my eyes. 
Jerron cranked the pickup and smoke cough out the tailpipe. Daddy stared at me. I'm still pointing at him. Baby Cake and Jerron rise up the hill like a bubble out of water. And I pitch the pea shooter in the canal and it sink faster than I can count. Thank you very much. Be well and be safe.